Fantastic. So without any further ado, um, let's get uh, things going. So yeah, a warm welcome on behalf of the Miro team to everyone that's taken the time out to join us this afternoon. Um, we are thankful for that and we hope that what we have for you in, in store for you today will be of interest to you. So today we're going to be speaking about one of Miro's favorite brands, TP-Link, and specifically the TP-Link Jetstream range of enterprise switches. So this is going to be a very brief overview of this particular solution. And um, if you have any questions, please do feel free to pop it into the comment section and I'll be sure to answer it at the end of the webinar. But um, yeah, like I said, we're looking at this particular solution. And um, if you have any queries on particular models and so forth, please speak to us and we will be happy to assist you. Um, as you guys know, uh, on behalf of Miro, uh, you know, we'll, what, what we specialize in is building tailor-made solutions for you, okay, where you're able to come to us with a particular application or specific challenges that you need to overcome. And, you know, using that information, what we are able to do on our side is to put together a specific custom solution for you. And, and we'll show you exactly how to do it. Uh, furthermore, we've got a full technical support department that is able to assist you uh, with both your, our pre-sales planning, so, you know, planning out uh, networks, out the wireless networks, Wi-Fi networks, you know, the list goes on. But not only that, we're also able to assist you on the back end. You know, should you have any troubles in the future, uh, you are able to uh, call us for uh, technical support. Uh, not only that, we also have an on-site support team. And last but not least, we've also got the Mirror Training Department, uh, where we do a number of on-site training certifications. Um, as well as the Miro Academy, uh, Miro Academy, which we'll share the link for at the end of this webinar, where we have a variety of various webinars, exactly like this one, as well as a bunch of different training sessions that you are able to join. Cool. So just so you know whose voice it is that you're hearing, my name is Charles Ducre. I'm the TP-Link Product Manager I'm here at Miro. So I essentially look after the portfolio here and I'm working directly with you as our business partners on your larger projects and so forth, but also uh, working with the TP-Link team directly. One of the awesome things about TP-Link is that although they are a massive global player and you know, obviously doing some massive things on the networking side, on the Wi-Fi side and so forth, um, they are also globally, um, sorry, locally hosted. Um, uh, also locally, um, um, yeah, positioned in the sense that they have a head office here in South Africa as well. So we have some fantastic support from them as well, but obviously it goes without saying the Miro is fully equipped to support this fantastic brand. So looking at the TP-Link product portfolio, um, this can be broken down into three primary categories. First of all, your home solutions. So this is more your, your entry level type Wi-Fi routers, you know, smart devices and so forth. Uh, we're going to be touching a bit on that in, in next week's, uh, sorry, tomorrow's webinar. Um, we then also have our, our small to medium-sized business and service provider solutions, which uh, links up a bit more closely to what we're actually going to be discussing today, being the Jetstream switches. With regards to specific products that the TP-Link portfolio covers, we've got the TP-Link Wi-Fi routers. Um, you know, like I said, everything from your entry-level Wi-Fi routers, your 802.11 N units, 2.4 gigahertz, all the way up to the latest and greatest Wi-Fi 6 units, which are pushing gigabit speeds wirelessly. Uh, we've got a variety of different range extenders, both wireless repeaters, power line range extenders that can help you get better Wi-Fi coverage. Um, whole home mesh solutions, which is uh, a huge buzz at the moment, uh, basically having multiple Wi-Fi nodes throughout a specific area, whether it be a residential premises or maybe even a business premises where multiple nodes will basically work together to provide blanket Wi-Fi coverage throughout the area where you've got a single SSID, meaning that when you move between different Wi-Fi access points or nodes, you have a seamless handover when moving between those. Uh, we then also have a variety of smart home devices, you know, smart cameras, light bulbs, plugs, etc. And that's what we're going to be talking about tomorrow. Um, and then your enterprise grade Wi-Fi access points, you know, um, once again, working your way up from your 802.11 N units all the way to Wi-Fi 6, um, you know, whether it be indoor, outdoor, we've got a variety of really awesome options that can all be combined together to create a top class Wi-Fi network. And then last but not least, what we're going to be discussing today, uh, TP-Link switches. So, of course, TP-Link have a massive variety of different switches. Um, all the way from your entry-level desktop switches where you're looking for a quick, um, a simple 
the 10100 five port switch or you're looking for a more enterprise grade layer three switch you know um, with 10 gigabit uh, um, uh, uplink ports and so forth um, TP-Link has that within their portfolio uh, unbeknown to a lot of people uh, who are maybe a bit more familiar with TP-Link for their Wi-Fi routers they actually have an extremely extensive range of switches being the Jetstream range so that range is all the way from your PoE switches to your managed switches, your more simple, simplified unmanaged switches, easy smart switches, and smart switches. But for the purpose of today's presentation or discussion, we're going to be focusing on particularly TP-Link's PoE solution, uh, solutions and their managed switches as well. So looking at TP-Link's PoE switches, uh, we're not going to particularly look at a, a specific model but rather the solution as a whole, okay? If there's a particular requirement that you have or, or specific type of port combination, speak to us because we've got everything from your, you know, starting at your eight ports all the way up to 28 ports upward um, within the POE range. So we can easily identify uh, an applicable solution for your, um, for, for your application. But essentially, uh, POE switches, where does this come into play? This basically means that you're able to not only cable up your various um, devices, whether they be access points, IP phones, uh, IP cameras, etc., but also push power to those devices as well. So as this diagram illustrates, essentially you have your main router on premise, which will essentially provide you with a link to the internet. We then need to take that connectivity and distribute it to multiple other devices. And that's exactly where the switch comes into play. So we could utilize something like the SG1218 MPE, which is quite a popular um, 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 POE switch that we have within the, the, the portfolio at the moment. It's a 16 port uh, gigabit POE plus unit, whereby you can push up to 30 watts to each port with a total power budget of 250 uh, watts. So, uh, you know, a large size power budget with uh, ample, um, you know, wattage to provide to um, your various smart devices. And yeah, as I said, basically the long, uh, uh, story cut sh long story cut short here is that you can utilize these PoE switches to push both data and power to your various devices, meaning that you've got a much cleaner and um, efficient uh, network topology um, and, and layout instead of having to have you know various PoE injectors and so forth at each of these devices. You've just got a single cable coming from the PoE switch. Then to look at some of the value added features that you typically expect in TP-Link's PoE switches, you know, we, we've got features like quality of service, which will allow you to prioritize various types of traffic. Okay, so depending on the, 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 the type of network that you're running, whether it's a home network, whether it's a business network, you'll have specific type of traffic that you need to prioritize, meaning that should you know, the bandwidth be consumed, um, you know, that particular type of traffic uh, will, will be the last to take a knock. Or, or, or to, to, to be influenced by the, by the, the influence or, or the reduction in available bandwidth, which could be influenced by, you know, just various programs running, the number of concurrent connections connected to your uh, network and so forth. The QoS, for instance, will, will actually prioritize your most important traffic. You've then got I, IGMP snooping for multicast optimization, so ensures a better network uh, experience, especially for applications um, um, such as IPTV uh, and so forth. VLAN for security, uh, system self-healing and POE auto recovery. So that's quite a cool feature whereby if you have a third party device, let's call it, say it's an IP camera for instance, that um, starts um, connecting to the switch, the switch will have the intelligence to pick that up. And as a result, what it will actually do is cut the power from that port and then provide power once again to basically initiate a, a restart of that particular unit. You then have intelligent power management to prevent power overload. So basically this automatically identifies the, the wattage requirement of the units that are connected to your ports, meaning that you're not going to overpower them and you know, essentially fry those units. And then once again, you have a great capability with multiple uh, powered devices um, through these switches as it's able to detect what type of devices you're plugging into the solution. So whether it's PoE or non-PoE, it will know whether it needs to send power or not. So some of the typical use cases, um, you know, surveillance is obviously a big one. 
Um, being here in South Africa, security is a, is a top priority. So definitely having a nice cost-effective switch that is extremely re reliable, um, it definitely comes into play. So most of the TP-Link switches come standard with a two-year warranty. And obviously, as we've touched you, we've got multiple watt, uh, wattage options, meaning that no matter what size application you have, we can pinpoint the exact switches that's a perfect um, fit for that. Uh, conference calls, so it works with IP phones and so forth. So whether it's a conference center, another nice example is also hotels and such. Um, you know, often you'll have a requirement to do a full Wi-Fi rollout uh, in a hotel, but then there's opportunity to stack up uh, a few uh, sort of value added add-ons, if you will. Uh, and that could be surveillance, uh, IP phones and so forth. So, you know, having that capacity on the switch definitely comes into play. Um, of course, for your general Wi-Fi coverage uh, requirements, so that could be a, a number of different environments, whether it be a school, a hospital, uh, a, a, um, education yeah, facility, universities and so forth. Um, definitely, there's a massive requirement for, for Wi-Fi coverage. And quite an important note here is that um, these switches also work with the MARA EAPs. So the MARA EAP range is TP-Link's range of uh, Wi-Fi access points. So these will work in harmony with each other, and I'm going to expand on that a little bit more in the slides to come. And then, of course, just for standard wired connections, so it works with PCs, printers, etc. So very versatile options that we have within the POE range that can, of course, be applied to a number of different types of applications. So then looking at some of the TP-Link's managed switches, these are your slightly higher end, uh, more enterprise grade solution that you can use for, um, you know, your corporate type environments uh, up to you know, service providers and so forth as well. So this includes your, your, your like I say, your, your enterprise grade stackable switches where you can have multiple switches all stacked up, connected to one another, pushing data between each other. Um, essentially playing the role of one large switch, if you will. Um, with regards to the port options, you know, you've got your standard gigabit RJ45, but also your gigabit SFP, 10 gigabit SFP plus uplinks uh, and so forth. Okay, so plenty of, um, you know, options to support high capacity on those ports. Uh, and then, of course, being a, a higher end unit, you've got your layer 2 plus and layer 3 features, advanced security features, IPv6 support, and then even dual removable power supplies. So you've got that redundancy on your power supply. If one fails, you know, there's still one running and you can swap out the, the secondary one without having to shut down your network. Quite an exciting addition to TP-Link's managed um, solution um, or managed switch portfolio uh, that I briefly touched on is the um, Amada switches that now integrate into TP-Link's software-defined network solution, which is known as the Amada Cloud. And the significance of that is that the Amada Cloud is also used to manage your TP-Link Wi-Fi access points. So a true end-to-end -end solution uh, is now at our disposal with the Amada Cloud solution. So, yeah, being the Amada Cloud, it, it uses TP-Link's Amada uh, uh, Cloud Controller which is basically a, um, a software-defined networking uh, platform which can be accessed um, via the cloud for free, or should you prefer to locally host it, you can do it like that as well. Um, this is your centralized management platform that uh, works across multiple gateways, switches, access points, and more. You've got your easy networking management by having a single pane of glass to have full visibility of your entire network. So like I said, not just Wi-Fi access points, but your switches as well. Um, you've got your central, centralized cloud management platform, meaning that you've got a single plane of glass to view multiple sites. So you can be based, let's say, in Gauteng, for instance, but have a site in Durban, Cape Town, Nelspruit, wherever. As long as those sites have a link to the internet, you'll have full management functionality and visibility of those sites. Um, the model controller works with AI-driven technology, uh, meaning that you get a lot of uh, useful analytics that are generated from you know, your general uh, um, users, statistics, and so forth. Um, and you can also set different uh, alerts and, and utilize that platform to, to tweak the system and basically optimize the performance of your network. So a very powerful tool in that sense that you can pretty much use from anywhere in the world. 
Um, zero touch provisioning, this is a really awesome tool that basically lets you pre-configure your Wi-Fi access points and your switches um, uh, before actually installing them on site. So basically on the Amada controller, you'll, you'll pre-configure everything and essentially uh, once you go out on site or your installer goes out on site, you can be in a completely different pro province or region and that unit then becomes a plug and play device. So whether it's an access point or switch, it will already be pre-configured, meaning that all you need to do is plug it into a connection. As soon as it realizes that it has a link to the internet, that pre-configured configuration will be automatically pushed down onto the device. So as I said, essentially plug and play. And of course, um, you know, having these switches and access points that are um, working under the Amada controller plays a vital role in bringing um, high density Wi-Fi deployments to the forefront. So of course, there's now demand for faster speeds, um, more concurrent connections than ever before. And as a result, you know, we, we don't just have our Wi-Fi 5 access points anymore. We've now had the introduction of the latest, greatest standard uh, of Wi-Fi 6 access points that are on board as well. So in order to support those types of speeds, we need high-performance, reliable switches once again. Uh, and that's where the, the TP-Link Jetstream switches come into play. But in summary, uh, an effective management tool um, not just for your access points anymore, but your switches as well. So this is just a typical example uh, of one of the more popular units, the SG2428P. It's actually a brand new release. It's uh, actually replaced the 2424P. I don't know if you will be familiar with that, but it is a very popular 24 port unit. Uh, and yeah, once again, fully integrated into your modern SDN solution. So centrally managed, works with zero touch provisioning, you get all of the intelligent monitoring features and so forth, uh, analytics and optimization options. Um, and it, yeah, this type of switch, for instance, will come with 250 watts power budget uh, and then your advanced layer two plus features, so layer two, layer three, and layer four quality of service, ACL and static routing. So just an example of one of the more popular units, but also extremely cost effective. You're not gonna break the bank, but uh, a very versatile unit that can be used for a number of applications, uh, like I said in the, uh, a bit earlier on, surveillance, uh, corporate settings, uh, uh, VoIP phones, and so forth. Then on the higher end of the spectrum, look, there's a, a number of different solutions, but um, um, sort of the, the, the top end that TP-Link currently offers is their affordable 10 gigabit switching solution where they've got the T1700 series, okay? So these are full 10 gigabit smart switches, uh, with um, yeah, either, uh, your option on the left here, so the, the T1700X-16TS with 12 ports, 10 gigabit base T um, uh, yeah, ports across the board with four 10 gig SFP plus uh, ports to obviously support on the uplink. Uh, or you've got your T1700G28TG, uh, for instance, which is a 24 port gigabit stackable smart switch which then also comes with four gigs, 10 gigabit Ethernet, uh, SAP plus slots. So on the software side, you know, obviously this is a slightly more advanced creature. So some of the settings that you'll have is your layer two static routing, your robust uh, security strategies, so access control lists, um, DHCP snooping, so forth, uh, comprehensive quality of service. So you've got port based uh, or 802 point, 1P based prioritization, layer three based uh, DSCP prioritization, rate limits, uh, voice VLAN, uh, of course, IPv6 support so is a future proof solution, and then dual image. So if your current firmware uh, is, it has any issues, uh, this unit will actually fail over onto the previous one, meaning that you don't have any downtime because of um, a firmware not working, for instance. So in summary, um, you know, this solution will offer you true stacking. So you can have up to six units stacked up uh, on top of each other or working together um, to support 40 gigabits bi-directional bandwidth for scalability and efficient redundancy. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you've got 10 gigabits SAP plus ports uh, to obviously support your uplink. So bringing those large, that large capacity of data uh, on the uplink. Uh, your layer two feature set, so static routing to help route internal traffic more efficiently um, uh, to, to, so that you can more efficiently utilize your network resources. 
Um, a number of advanced security features, in, including IP MAC port binding, ACL, port security, uh, DOS defend, storm control, DHCP snooping, ADO 2.1X, and RADIUS authentication. Uh, like I said, supports IPv6, and then if you've got your, your um, web CRI managed modes, uh, SNMP, RMON, and dual image enhanced management. So definitely a, a slightly higher end solution. And once again, this is just a summary of the two models that we currently have. Um, and this is just a reference to, to the, 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 obviously the types of switches that we have within the range. As I did mention in the beginning, there is a massive range. So if there's a slightly different port configuration that you require, just pop us a message and we'll be happy to, to identify that for you or point you in the right direction. Um, TP-Link's got such a vast range of different switches um, it's not a given that we'll have every single one of them already up on our website, but it's not to say that we won't support it. All you need to do is let us know that you have a requirement for that switch and we'll be happy to assist. So these are the two uh, units just compared like for like. Like we said, we've got the, um, the, the, the 16TS unit, which uh, has 12 um, 10 gig base T ports across the board, and then your four dedicated 4 gig SAP plus uplink ports. Uh, but then you've got your 28T, unit which is 24 gigabit Ethernet ports across the board with four dedicated 10 gig SFP plus ports um, and then of course yeah large a uh, very high switching capacity 320 gigabits per second versus 128 and then just the general um, size specifications and dimensions there and yeah so that was just a brief summary and, and a glimpse into one or two of the, the examples uh, like I said, this was more of a solution overview just to inform you that TP-Link do have an extensive range of, of, of higher end switches, not just the, the, the more common, um, you know, fire port desktop switches and such that, that many of you may be acquainted with. So if there is a higher end solution that, you, um, that you're working on, um, definitely don't overlook TP-Link. Um, let us know what the general requirement is, what's the port combination, what's the capacity that you, you require with regards to your switching capacity, what's the, the management functionality that you need, and, um, and, and, and yeah, let us show you what options we have here at Miro. Um, you may be pleasantly surprised to see um, the, 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 the price point of these switches. Um, furthermore, most of these units are backed up by at least a two-year warranty, so we're not just saying it's a good quality solution, uh, we're backing it up with the warranty. If you have any troubles with your units, you can bring it back to Mirror. Um, we'll either try and repair it on site, but most of the time it's just a straight swap out, given that it's covered by the warranty. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for joining this very brief update on the Jetstream side. Um, we are hosting another webinar tomorrow, which is your TP-Link Smart Home. Um, welcome to the Smart Way of Living. Um, this is going to be quite an exciting one where we're going to basically just talk about the requirement for additional smart devices. Um, obviously, we're in the fourth industrial revolution at the moment, and IoT is playing a major role in that. So, not just in the industrial sector, but also in the residential type setting, so within the home. So, we've got a variety of different cameras, light bulbs, plugs, switches, and so forth that will work off your existing Wi Fi network. Um, meaning, that, yeah, and, and as a result, we'll also speak about the, um, the various mesh options that one can use in one's home to get blanket Wi Fi coverage to support these types of uh, really cool smart devices. But um, yeah, just as a, a final note, um, I did mention the SG2428P switch earlier. This is the latest release within the TP Link range. So this is the direct supersession for the 2424P, which was our most popular 28 port uh, PoE switch uh, uh, from TP Link. So basically, it's exactly the same price point as its predecessor, but what TP-Link have now done with this particular model is actually increased the power budget to 250 watts and also um, integrated it into the Mata SDN solution. So that cloud-based management platform that we spoke about is um, yeah, now works with the switch, or actually the other way around, the switch now works with that solution. So full visibility, and you can also utilize features such as zero-touch provisioning, where you can pre-configure your entire switch, uh, as well as any access points, uh, before actually um, before they go out on site, meaning that they essentially become plug-and-play devices. So 
Uh, we are holding stock of the HT 2420FP. If it's something you're interested in, please pop us a mail and we'll be happy to provide you with the respective pricing and so forth. But yeah, thank you very much everyone for joining. I hope this was a well-received well update. Um, if you have any inquiries, please feel free to either give us a call or pop us a mail at sales at mirror.co.za. As I mentioned, I'm the product manager for TP-Link. So if you have any specific questions or any requests, uh, please pop it to shawl, gd, at mirror.co.za. But most importantly, something I want to advise each and every one of you to do is to go through to mirroracademy.co.za as that is where we upload every single webinar that we do. Uh, we also have a lot of additional trainings that you can do on there, both for free and we also have some different subscription plans um, that you can use to um, empower not just yourself but the rest of your team as we've got a few team like uh, packages or bundles um, that you can use to, to, to get your, your team up to speed on the latest, greatest technologies. But uh, yeah, thank you very much to everyone for taking the time and I hope you can join us tomorrow. We're going to be doing um, the, the TP-Link Smart Home presentation at 3 o'clock. Um, it's going to be another short and sweet one, but uh, definitely an exciting one. As I said, there's a lot of buzz around those types of devices at the moment. And um, as integrators, it's a fantastic upselling opportunity. Remember, a lot of the time you're going to go to your client's home, install maybe a single Wi-Fi router. Before you know it, you're back there having to maybe upsell them to something a bit more powerful because they want faster speeds, better coverage. Um, you know, in, in, in a lot of cases, it makes sense to recommend something like a mesh solution. And once you've got the mesh solution in place, not only do you have better coverage and faster speeds, but you've now got the ability to support additional smart devices, whether it be uh, a video doorbell uh, camera at your front door, a smart camera, uh, uh, you know, mounted on, uh, somewhere on the exterior of your house or inside your house, uh, smart light bulbs, smart plugs, etc. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, opportunity on that front, on the smart device and, and meshing front. But um, yeah, that sort of concludes everything from my side. Um, I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, please pop it in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer. And um, yeah, while you guys are on, what I'll actually do is just share the link to tomorrow's webinar. I think it's actually going to be the most popular one. We've got the most bookings for that one of all of them that we've done. We've actually just done a, a four-day um, series over the last two weeks on just TP-Link. But if there's any particular webinars that you guys would like to request um, on either TP-Link or any of the Miro brands, uh, please let us know. Uh, you can pop me a mail directly or just send it to sales at Miro. Um, we really want to make sure that we're giving you guys exactly what you want when it comes to um, information on the various solutions that we support. So uh, we're more than happy to do it. We really enjoy getting up on webinars um, and, you know, sometimes it's a lot easier just to talk about everything uh, on a webinar than obviously having to send a, a, a couple of mails back and forth. So, um, yeah, let us know if there's any webinar requests. But otherwise, I have shared the link to uh, tomorrow's webinar. And um, so uh, welcome to the smart way of living where we're going to look at the TP-Link smart devices. And that's going to be tomorrow at 3 o'clock as well, uh, probably about another uh, a 20 minutes or 20 to 30 minute webinar once again. So please do join us for that. It is another free webinar that we'd love to have you there for. Fantastic. So thank you very much. I'm going to conclude the webinar. Everyone have a fantastic afternoon and we hope to see you soon.